tell us Rucker's dead. What? Poisoned, I think. Holy shit, man. Rucker was the voice of the Augmented. People loved him for it. When word of this hits, Prague's gonna explode. And the whole world's watching. Listen, Miller's gone to meet with state police. Could be our chance to determine his loyalties. He lives near TF-29. You want us to search his apartment? Not us. Me. You keep digging into that Versalife break-in. And see what the Collective can dig up on a Victor Marchenko. If I'm right, and Rucker was poisoned, all three might be connected. Jensen out. going on? Miller sent me to... Check on my progress? Really? I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So... Well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like Bomb's timing mechanism. Get this. It's a Stanic. A Stanic? The bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... Using a low-tech solution is really clever. Stanic watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Mm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Yeah, got it. Nomad Stanek. Founder and owner of the store lives in the Davnia. Bod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96. Second floor. Thanks. I'll check it out. Great. Let me know how it goes. Um. Want to hear another one? The clockman's clock is ticking. Good one. Come on, let's blow this place.
Initiated. Access granted. Smiley, Stanek wasn't at his apartment, but I did find what looked like bomb-making equipment, and a trap set by the Diwali. You're kidding! I also found out where he might be. The Red Light District, at a bar across the street from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Copy that. I know some girls. I can help you fix your little, uh, problem. <laughs> Come on. Hey, I'm a citizen. I have rights. You cannot detain me without charging me. This I know. And I know you're gonna sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Major Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. Wait a minute. I know you. You've been in my shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Stanek. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No! I would never... I, I wouldn't even know where to start. Y you have the wrong man! Do I? Convince me. I have a timing device with your name on it, and I found the tools to make even more bombs in your apartment. What else am I supposed to think? But you've been to my shop. You know I fix watches. I don't make bombs. No, those tools aren't mine. They belong to my... Your daughter? No, no. Look, take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. I, I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You're right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child. Gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. They said they were her friends, but I could see they only wanted to use her. Parasites! And, and now, now, they have taken her! You must help! She is not to blame for this! She has been coerced! Calm down. What do you mean they've taken her? Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by, spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... she was saying goodbye. But she would never... They used her, and now they intend to make her disappear.
Does your daughter have the expertise to do this? Much more than I do. She was in the military. EOD, they called it. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. The bomb squad? Yes. She was happy in the military. They augmented her, rebuilt her to make her better at what she did. But after the incident, she was dishonorably discharged. She was lost. That's when these new friends found her. Ugh. They exploited her, and now they plan to discard her. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goons showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have. Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter! Or I will! Smiley, I spoke to Stanek. He's not our guy, but he has a daughter. Allison. Ex-military, EOD. She might be the bomb maker. So what's our next move? Stanek says he doesn't know where she is, but I think he's hiding something. The agents are there. Until he gives her up, this investigation is stalled. I'll make sure they lean on him. See what he does. Good. Let me know what happens. Nice to find another bottle. Something to keep us warm. How are you? I think I got something, Alex. Miller's NSN access card. He must have left it behind when he logged into his second computer. His second computer? Anything incriminating on it? I haven't checked it yet. But I'm starting to think the only way we'll learn more is by hearing all of that NSN conversation. Shit, man, that's risky. But we may have to. Why? You find something on VersaLife? It ain't good. Meet me in the small courtyard near TF-29. I'll explain. Most of them are 
them are afraid to walk outside of their homes right now. Keep it out of my report. Worse than the beggars. Ha! Ah. Hey, thanks for being quick. Didn't want to be seen hanging around by myself for too long in case you got held up. I can be a gentleman, sometimes. You said you got something on VersaLife. Yeah. A couple of months back, a research assistant was found dead in the Rokaseka Beach Facility. Special Projects Division. She was poisoned, just like Rucker. She? You got her name? Anik Norstad. Why? You know somebody there? Doesn't matter. Forget it. I can't stand versa life, Adam. Back when I was flying for Bell Tower in Panama, I stumbled into deep shit with them. They're the reason I've got a target on my back. They told my bosses to kill me. If they're involved in this, we'll get them. We just need to know what this is. Tell me more about this researcher. The information we found on Norstat was buried. Deep. No police report, no autopsy. Just a footnote on an insurance claim, calling it an industrial accident. She was working with dangerous pathogens, wasn't she? Supposedly. Janus thinks there's more to it. He's the one who found the report. Said it was... off. Off how? Lots of blank spaces and missing details. Didn't really go into it. And you didn't think to ask, did you? Are you saying I fucked up? No, not at all. You just seem to put a lot of faith in Janus' opinion, that's all. Janus changed my identity, gave me purpose again after Versalife ruined everything for me. He helped me see things I'd never seen before. Like what? Like how some conspiracy theories aren't far from the truth. After Panama, I didn't believe any of that shit Picus News kept spinning about the incident. About what caused the incident. Then things got real bad for us augmented, and Janus gave me a chance to set it right. By going after the men in the shadows. By working with you. I keep thinking about what you said, about framing Ark for a break-in that makes them look like terrorists. A Versa Life researcher shows up dead, poisoned just like Rucker? Are we talking bioweapons here? Miller's access card might help us find out. How? I don't follow you. NSN exchanges are stored in the system's cloud memory. If I log in as Miller, using his access card, I might be able to play back more of that conversation he had with the bosses. Shit, Adam, this isn't like planting a bug. You have to actually use the chair, for a while, if anyone catches you. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Your call. But I want to be plugged in and listening the whole time you're in there. Just be careful, man. Call me when you've accessed the machine. I don't want any trouble.
expected to be in Gollum City. It's just chatter on he top of chatter. Long as Alex, I'm in. Anything I need to know before I start up this chair? Every NSN is different, man, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm guessing you'll end up in some kind of virtual conference room. No one else should be in there. And if they are? They'll see you as Miller, so say something snippy and log off. <laughs> okay. Where do I find these stored conversations? Hell if I know. This is your plan. But holographic recordings take up a lot of virtual memory, so you may have to look in several places. I'll just have to play it by ear. Exactly. The whisper chip is still in place, though, so we'll both know when you've done it. Good luck, Adam. This is different.
Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Bursa Life, Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark doesn't operate in North America. Please call Hong Kong Alpha One Zero priority message. We've got a problem. Miller wants to see a report on the break-in. What break-in? The one your San Francisco research facility is supposed to have any day now. What? What exactly did you tell him? Never mind. I'll take care of it. In fact, it may even help me clean up a related incident. What have you heard from our man inside Ark? Not much. He has to be careful transmitting. Rucker may be onto him. Then it's time for him to use the Orchid. Tell him. <sighs> Killing Rucker... Are you sure it's a good idea? I mean, uh, it'll certainly make things easier during Phase 2, but... Are you doubting me, Joseph? I'm merely concerned that the rest of the Council might not like your call. They seem less cohesive these days. Rucker's death may upset some of them. But at this juncture, Brown is the only person we pay attention to. Once Rucker is dead, I'm positive he's going to make his move. Do it! End call. Alex, did you get all that? Hell yeah. Don't tell me this isn't the proof we're looking for, Adam. This is big. Janus needs to hear it. I want to talk to him this time. Set it up. Let me know where. I'll see what I can do. Later, man. Adam, what are you doing in here? My job. What about you? I... I'm sorry, but I wasn't questioning you. It was meant to be jovial. Because I need to work on my timing. Anyway, I'm leaving a message for the director, asking if he's heard from Vince Black, our organized crime division head. Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only... He never showed for our first meeting. From what I know of the Diwali, their influence extends outside of the Czech Republic. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Maybe you could find out? Sure. I think I can do some digging around for you. When was the last time you heard from him? First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed... antsy, kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well then, maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. Why well, stop now, right? Well, listen, Adam, Lyon's waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office, so... Unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. All right. Well, I'll let you know if I find out anything about Black. Thanks. Are you here to talk? Our Chang was next. <laughs> the original digital rock. I managed to track Vince all the way to the repertory center yesterday. Show it's just chatter on top of chatter. Are you there? How 